Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. Thanks for joining in. If this is your first time watching the channel, it's meant to be a community of learning that focuses on open source or cheap tools um, that have great value to offer to the art community, whether you're in the photography end of things or the video end of things. I'm looking to highlight uh, valuable tools that may not be known to you. Uh, they blend into Krita and to GIMP and to Paint.net and uh, tools that are freely available and uh, can give uh, much to your way of doing things. So I made an amazing discovery that covers all those uh, open source tools I just mentioned, Krita, GIMP, and Paint.net, and I'm really excited to get to it. Let's kick it off. Okay, so are you ready for it? I'm letting the tension build here. <laughs> so I was digging through the settings recently in Krita, and I happened to come across something that I hadn't heard of before. It's GMIC, perhaps GMIC, under the configuration settings down here. And I started to wonder, what is that? <laughs> so I did a little digging and found that this is a complete add-on for plugins. It's like a little mini platform that runs not just in Krita, but it also runs in GIMP. It also runs in paint.net and it offers this whole little mini system. So the settings for it are here. I'll tell you just before I show you what this is that I had to get the latest version. I'll put a link in the description below of where you get it but I had to go download the latest version and put it in because some things weren't working out of the out of the box version that comes with the least crit up. And uh, this is this is a wow moment that's coming up. You ready? All right. So after you download the uh, updated version, you do have to put whatever path you put it in there. Last little bit of technical information. So under filters, you have this start GMIC option and that fires up and it does a check out to its internet source. Everything loads from an internet uh, served up content platform, which that part is kind of yeah, but it also enables you to get latest and greatest as things are updated. So pros and cons to that, take it for what you will. However, it gives you this amazing area under all this, first of all, th th there's so much in here, by the way, so I can't possibly I'll cover it in one video. But the one area I really wanted to touch on are under colors and this area of color presets because that makes it even closer to the functionality you get in Lightroom and Photoshop because you can accomplish all these pre baked color presets. And this just goes on and on. You start with a category, they give you a whole bunch of other things and they tell you how many are in each category, but you can pretty much pick one and then start digging through the, the presets and it just gives you a real time preview of what that is and you can adjust with it and play with it and uh, ultimately apply it. But you can start to get to some of these almost cinematic looks with your pictures with just a couple of clicks. And to me, that was like, mind-bending to see that this is actually built in to these tools. I've done it all by hand up until now. This is going to be a game changer. So as I mentioned, this does span across the other systems. It's not just in Krita. I would encourage you take a dig through here because this 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 goes all over the place. There's all kinds of stuff in this little mini platform. Uh, there's black and white and odds and ends. There's different uh, similar filters that you can play around with and see what they shake out to be. Some are a little more extreme than others. Um, so definitely take a dig through and see what they do. You apply it by hitting the proper buttons in the end and when you're done that translates out to the image that's actually in Krita. And depending on the complexity of what you've chosen it may take time just to warn you because some effects eat up more resource than others. But what an amazing thing. I did take a dig through as to where it appears in GIMP. That information I do not have for you, so I'll do a follow-up to that. But I do know it supports it, and as well, it does support paint.net. So if either one of those are your flavor of choice, that will work as well. 
And just for kicks, let's actually bring up the site because I think there were other integrations and for your benefit, let's just do full disclosure here and see what they are. So here's the official site. And I just wanted to give you the benefit of seeing all the different platforms here. So there's GIMP, there's Krita, there's paint.net. Uh, this, I guess, is just for general Windows interfacing, okay? Debian is another. There's some Linux pieces of this. I'm not familiar with OpenFX. If you are, it supports it. And that looks like it's it for now. They do have the source code available as well if you wanted to take a dig and if that's your, your jam for working on things yourself. So, that's the gist of it. Go play, come back and comment, let me know your experience, and especially if you find the really like deep ones of this platform that are really nice and valuable and, and can offer to the community, let us know so I can try it out so others can try it out and we can all have the benefit of learning from each other's experiences. I would love it if you would do that and also, uh, share what you're working on um, within the bounds that this is a family friendly channel uh, we want to keep it clean for kids and, and all persons alike uh, because that's the way i want to frame all this content and information so that's really it again this is kind of a shorter topic um, i scratched the surface of it and i wanted to make you aware because this is a big deal it has such great potential coming into the open source community to offer this kind of functionality and that made me really excited um, so thanks for watching. Connect with me on YouTube. Please do subscribe. Please do thumb up the video if that was helpful. Also, come find me on Facebook. Come find me at natesorallo.com and plug into me in all the social media. Thank you so much for joining. I look forward to talking with you.